to talk about Politicker. Uh, it's a tool to engage citizens in the political process, which is somewhat sorely lacking, and um, a voter analytics platform for the campaign or the political parties themselves. Um, now, basically, voters don't really participate in the political process today. Um, I think in the last elections, we saw 60% rate. Um, but typically, since the late 60s, it's been 40 to 50%. Um, this is because all the information out there is pretty confusing and intimidating. Um, it doesn't help that each of the campaigns and the media have their own agendas to push. So sometimes when you're reading the news or various blogs, you kind of don't know who you should be believing. Um, and then there's some non-biased sites out there that actually provide um, some um, factual information, but those sites are hard to discover, and more importantly, they're very, um, well, not user-friendly at all. So with Politicker, what we want to do is help re-engage citizens in the political process by making it easy for them to consume the information and make decisions themselves. Um, we have no agenda. Uh, we go off, um, we use the uh, trustworthy sources, and one of the uh, uh, bigger things we want to offer is actually a social platform for voters and politicians to engage on topics and start conversations. So Jared will do a quick demo here. Actually, we had uh, zero devs, so. Good job. All right, so here we go. Uh, we've got Politicker up. You can sign up with Facebook, in theory. Uh, what you would do is you come in, <laughs> you have actual information on, um, on our users, where they're located, how they are, where they're from. This turns out to be valuable data that we can uh, later provide for um, potential candidates, people who want to run for office. So what we have here is uh, people. These are different candidates and people that are actually in office or historically in office. What you can do is you can find out what these people's views are. And another thing you can do you can find out what their views are over time. One of the things we found is with politicians is uh, their viewpoints change a little bit sometimes. <laughs> you can find out more information and a cool UI. And you can also find out some statistics. You can find out their stance on a particular issue, for example, abortion. A summary about uh, written by one of our in-house content providers. <laughs> 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 Uh, you can get some views on some other users in the community. Got some topics. One of them that is uh, one that came up locally was wolves. <laughs> some politicians <laughs> don't even know about this issue, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 abortion's another. We also provide uh, a platform for analytics for people that would like to purchase them. So yeah, the analytics platform is really for the um, uh, campaigns themselves to pretty much figure out um, who stands for what in what areas um, around the country. So this gives them a good idea of um, what are people's uh, true views, and instead of just relying on Gallup poll research and stuff, on um, how people feel um, in you know within the specific zip code. So it helps them target their message um, when they're doing their telemarketing campaigns and stuff. And, so um, we, you know, uh, we talked to a few people, but um, in my professional experience, whenever you ask a person about, hey, would you use this, they're typically like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, so we actually reached out to Sarah, um, who's the CEO of Knowledge as Power. She's a consultant um, and sorry, a, a nonprofit who works with. Um, governments around the world and at various levels about um, opening data and information to citizens. And she, uh, we wanted to get from her what the true issues are. Um, and uh, basically, you know, a lot of people don't vote it's because they're confused, it's because they're intimidated, and there's other sites out there that provide that information. They actually have about 600,000 uh, monthly visitors per month. Um, but the key problem has been how do the uh, campaigns themselves target um, the voters instead of doing cold call telemarketing. So short term, um, advertising, longer term, when we get the traffic, uh, we want to sell that analytics at a cheaper rate than what Obama, like Obama, it cost them $7 per voter on average. That's great. 